anything, it's just more uh, a brief demo on how to debug uh, performance issues on JBoss, Wildfly, whatever flavor um, JBoss you happen to be on. Um, most people seem to, well, in my experience, particularly, I've seen quite a lot of developers, uh, you know, they don't treat the JVM with care, or they're not <laughs> aware of specific tools which are available, or some of the tools which are available within your JDK. Um, today I'm going to be talking about sort of debug tools on JDK Hotspot and um, 7, but pretty much JDK 8, the same set of tools are available. So the type of environment I've set up today is just a standalone uh, JBoss 711 um, environment, um, which I started up just on my local machine here, and I have deployed a number of just basically demo test apps on here, um, which I'm sure most people are familiar with. <laughs> so I'll just quick start samples. But it's more, more what I'd like to sort of focus on today would be just to show um, basically the tools which are available within. Um, JDK7, JDK8, um, I'd be specifically concentrating on JDK7, um, but there's no real new set of sort of debug performance tools that are available. JDK8, there aren't in 7 already, so it's <clears throat> we've only 10 minutes, so you only set an amount to go through anyway. So, um, so within here, I mean, what I was kind of going to look at today was just briefly go through basically three or four utilities which are available within the JDK. Um, give you a brief overview of JConsole, JVisual, VM, and sort of what, if you come across sort of out of memory issues, performance issues, what are kind of the useful things you kind of look at um, within using those specific tools. Um, so within here, uh, within your JDK hotspot bin directory, I'm just going to specifically today focus on, there's a number of different tools which we can use here, utilities we can focus on, um, but today I'm going to focus on JStack, uh, JStack, JVisualVM, JConsole, um, yeah, those are the primary tools which I'm just going to briefly have a look at. Um, so I already have um, hotspot up and running, um, or JBoss up and running. So I'm just going to briefly, JSTAT is used to basically gather um, uh, heap, heap statistics or garbage collection statistics within uh, the JDK. And there are a number of options which are available to users. Um, I'll show you briefly some of the tools which one can possibly use. So here's just from the JDK7 docs. We've got a number of different options here which we can provide, which is dash class, dash compile, dash GC. And they basically give us a breakdown of the different areas of the heap um, in terms of the young, the old generation, perm gen. So this is sort of one tool you could use um, if you want to sort of live debug your heap and sort of see, okay, how is my garbage, how has uh, memory been allocated on my heap? Be one of many other tools, I would think. You do some um, garbage, garbage collection analysis as well, but this is one tool that you would use. Um, so I'll just show you quickly some of the tools that um, demo briefly. So running so obviously J, JBoss is running on, you just provided the PID, which is, in this case, are running a 696 with their option GC old capacity, which will give us the list of stats, uh, statistics um, for the young or the old generation. Um, so here is, give us the number of collections that have occurred. Um, uh, you will see here also we've got a number of different options here. So GC capacity. So they give us the minimum space, the old generation capacity, the number of young generation events, number of full GC events. It's quite important. Um, 
obviously the full GC, full garbage collection cycles take our sort of ones that not always one of well the primary concern. Usually have long you can have quite long or pauses within uh, the JVM as a result of uh, full GCs taking longer than you should. Um, so it's, it's a quite a nice metric uh, to to be aware of, along with the uh, full garbage collection time. Um, there are other um, also options available. So GCU so So yeah, there's further, basically there's further options here which you can explore, um, which should give you an idea of sort of the usage of memory usage in the young, old and permanent generation um, of the heap. Well, permanent generation, not exactly a part explicitly of the heap, but it's, it's, it's one area that you should uh, keep an eye on. Okay, so in terms of further utilities, other utilities which are quite useful um, is to use JVisual VM. <coughs> so <coughs> it's just connected locally um, automatically to my JBoss instance and within here. Sort of get, get an overview of at that point in time the various different threads that are run running on, on JBoss. Um, there's also a profiling utility tool which you can run. This will give you so you can run this over a period of time. So if say for example you want to profile memory over a period of time, then you click on this, let it run, and then stop it. Same with CPU, but memory is quite a useful uh, uh, profiling uh, utility to, 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 uh, to, to look at. Um, really useful tools here. Now, one can use, one can use in, it uh, uh, comes with your JVM utility called um, JSTAC. So if you need to, in your live environment, say we, well, we, we come across quite a lot of different performance issues um, with, with different customers. And one of the first things we wouldn't say always do, but one thing that's always very useful is say, oh, customer says, okay, application server is running slow. And you go, oh, okay, you get the logs, etc. But what's always very useful is get a get a stack trace, and not just a stack trace at that point in time, just to get a number of different thread dumps over say a two minute period or five minute period. It's going to vary depending on the scenario you're in, but um, it's certainly, and what you're really looking for there is, is to look for primarily block threads, not always, but blocks, if, if a number of threads are in a block state, or you could have Threads which are in a runnable state, but that thread are uh, looking for long polling threads sometimes. So you say for what's quite a common scenario, unfortunately, is database issues where you have within your application a number of JDBC calls right, to our, our MySQL database, and those queries are running over, are running for a long time. So what you would see normally in your um, thread dump is basically the same thread, with the same sort of thread ID, making the same um, uh, call within your stack trace. So it's, it's, it's quite nice and it's very, it's very easy to, to capture a thread dump. There's multiple different ways you can do it. Usually JSTAC is straight out of the box with along with your JDK. So just create JSTAC along with your the PID and it'll just dump it out. Should dump it out. <laughs> or you can use also um, JVisual VM. You can live, you can take, 
can run this on the box itself. Um, so this will give you a list of all the different threads running on JBoss and what they're doing at that specific point in time. Um, so it's quite, it's quite nice and useful to, uh, to look at. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, you can see here when I run the JStack, it just dumped it out to stand it out. But you can really redirect it off to some log file and just take it periodically over, say 30 seconds, to again for some performance issues. It's always useful to look at. Um, for applications that are running slow, etc. Um, another key, key uh, useful tool I find when sort of debugging uh, issues on JBoss is to take, particularly for, say, we've had debug quite a lot of customer performance issues around memory, and so the customer will ring up and say, oh, various points in time, just events aren't processing. You know, there's big delays, there's big huge pauses within an application. And usually, I say always the case, but it's always useful when you sort of hear around that scenario is to look at sort of the garbage collection pause times. Um, so one of the ways, useful ways to sort of look at <coughs> uh, sort of capture on an inner point of time, what what's on your heap? Let's take a heap dump. So, but so you can do that by a J Visual VM, as you can see here. Just dump. You can take out a heap dump. I'll just take one quickly. Or you can see here it's quite useful. It'll give you a list of all the different entries, a snapshot of all the different classes objects that are on the heap at that point in time, the number of instances. Another useful tool that most people aren't really aware of, or certainly not, um, used quite a lot is OQL, so you can actually query, sort of like the same as SQL in a way, the similar, similar syntax as SQL, you can actually query the dump to get out a number of different, you can run queries against your heap see what classes are on there, which is quite useful. There's quite a really good docs within the JDK uh, documentation on how to use it, but it's certainly very useful. And Okay, and I think that would be out. Just quickly on one last note, just to show you another way of, if you want to get the heat dump, Quickly is to use the JMAP utility, and that will it's just straight out of the browser JDK. And you can use that to gather, um, <clears throat> yeah, you just provide it with the PID, and it will dump out um, various different statistics um, relation to your heap at that point in time. So, right, I think that's me, my time up, all right? Thank you very much. Um, okay. Thank <laughs> you.